What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another episode of the Rome 2 uh, mod which is 1100 AD and uh, we are playing as France and we are, a, if you've watched the last episode which I recommend you go and do, I'm sure I'll leave a link or something will pop up, um, we are fighting Normandy and the Normans have just been conquered in a huge battle and uh, we are now sieging their settlement, La Havre and um, I'll just apologise now, I have got a little bit of a cold, so I may be sniffling a bit, I'm sorry, I'll try to minimise the amount of gross sniffing and germs that there are, but um, yeah, I'll just let you know just in case that you hear it, I can't help it sometimes, illnesses are a pain. Anyway, um, development in the south, uh, it looks like Toulouse has taken the offensive against uh, Aquitaine and has taken Clermont from them. So there is a war going on here in France. So this could be a good idea to swing in and take out, um, well, the victor because they'll be very weak. Um, but I mean, we need to also replenish ourselves. These armies are both very weak after huge battles in Normandy. So uh, we'll be doing that as soon as possible as well. So I am going to. I don't think there's anything we can buy that I've wanted to buy. I could be wrong. Um, it's been a little while since I played it. Yes, I think we've spent all our money on everything. Um, and I don't really want to do any diplomacy with anyone. Oh, here we go. As expected, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we'll play this battle and uh, we'll crush the, these peasants. Because they are. Look at them. They're all light. I mean, though, light swordsmen seem to be doing very, very well so far in the campaign at destroying just about everyone. So, uh, I will meet you on the battlefield. Hi, so we're back on the battlefield, and I've decided to set up quite near the back of my uh, of my area of deployment because this is where the uh, enemy are coming on uh, behind. What well, enemy? Our uh, reinforcements are coming on behind us. So I'm hoping that as they have no cavalry, they uh, we will be able to use our cavalry to outmaneuver and destroy their weaker troops. Even if they have the numbers, we have the quality and the uh, maneuverability. Um, who have we got here? Lan. Oh, this is Louis. With his heavy cavalry. Kind of would like to keep him out of the battle, to be honest. Um, so, then we're also going to put all the infantry over here. Let's just get you over here. Who are you? Frankish Light Cav, get over here. Get over here. And... Archers, you also get here. I'll sort you out in a minute. Oh, they're actually moving very quick. We might need you to pull back. Um. Yeah, you're gonna need to pull back. Understood. Where are you pulling back to? About there. So you go about there then. Excellent. Um. So we'll we'll do that. Right. Um. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Speed, speed, speed. Excellent. These boys looking very... I mean, these are low-tier units, but they actually do look very good. They look very professional. I'll give them that. Um, right, let's slow it down a bit. Um, let's put all of you in the front. You about... Where are you going then to? About there. So we'll put you about here. Um, let's have all the cavalry go around the side. Protect the king as much as possible, please. God, don't lose him. Um, I mean, this army's kind of just trash. I'm just going to put all of this on the right flank. Just to help defend there. Oh, and archers pull back because you're so far forward. Run away. Uh, who are you here? Oh, this is the general. Oh, and you're under fire from there. Um, you're the weaker two. I mean, that light cavalry is actually okay. You're expendable. Louis, I just go over here. There, you can be used if necessary. Um, jeez, these guys just are persisting. Right, keep moving around. Um, they're in combat. Excellent. I think. Um, flank. Keep flanking. Um, hit them here. Who have we got here then? Oh, like half the army just following the trail. Well, you just keep going around then. Um, 
Because if they're going to do that, there's no point having you here. Well, these guys turn around, keep going in here. Focus down these guys, please. Focus them down. Right, go around. Go around. Cut these guys down. We have plenty of reserves, actually. These are all the really damaged units, which is all I'm just conscious of. Um, and now we're slamming the back, please. Um, is Louis under threat? Um, yes, quite possibly. Where are they wavering? Where? Oh, these guys, these light spears. Oh god, they're getting shredded, actually. Wow, I should have um, probably done something better with it. Right, we're going to just throw all these guys in. Actually, no, put you in. These light spears. Just commit the light spears. Our uh, general's under attack. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. We, uh... Oh, we destroyed all of them. And they are breaking. That is a huge chain route. Commit them. Let's try and kill as many of these guys as possible. Kill all of these. Wow, there is a lot in there we can kill. Right, kill all of them. Kill them all. Um, archers, can you focus down? Well, we can afford to lose one light spear, I think, because we just caused an absolute rout. Um, Louis, you could probably actually kill them, but I won't get you to. Oh my gosh, look at that rout. That is huge. Commit, kill. Um, kill them. Oh, which, oh, the one that I've just committed as well. Well, that's perfect. Um, Louis, can you come and kill these? Uh, kill the general, someone. All the archers just focus on these guys. Sorry, I'm like really focusing. So, uh, we're not getting the greatest commentary in the world. I'm sorry. Um, cavalry. It's just also getting very. Even though we've won, it's very chaotic where everyone is and what to do. There's a lot of troops. I probably should have put them into groups, but hey, well, mistakes being made now. Um, cavalry. I guess go around the sides. Go around the sides. Oh, and Louis. Yep, just like that. Louis nearly swung in and killed them all. Right. Let's. Oh, I actually shouldn't have ended it because that. That a lot of people still would have. Oh no! Apparently they lost two, over two thousand. So, yeah, that 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 basically got destroyed. I didn't need to chase them down. Thank God. Right. So I will see you guys back on the campaign screen in a minute. I'll let you have a look at those, but I will just cut, make a quick cut. So there you go. With a decisive victory, we have got another one. And um, this is uh, probably our settlement now. I'm just going to execute all the prisoners. No, nope, they still hold it. But at the end of the turn, at uh, the start of our turn, I will make an assault on the uh, defences and we will take Le Havre. No, I won't join your war. However much money you offer me, I am not joining that war yet. I want to unite France and then we'll go east. Protection expiring, that's fine. In three turns and there's a bit of attrition. Well, I think we lost more, me uh, more men in that attrition than we did in that battle. Uh, right, we can auto resolve this. 96. Kill them. And Le Havre is ours. And uh, we'll take that. Oh, we lost. Faction destroyed. Very nice. Okay. Oh, they have a lot of muster fields here. We don't really need this many. Um, don't even know if we need two. Actually, no, we could do a two because if we want to make a uh, light infantry camp. Yep, I could do that. And we've got replenishment going now. Excellent. Is it possibly because we're in, a, we're in summer? So I have a feeling that's probably got something to do with it. So anyway, we're going to... March back to Mar Mont Le Mans. And we're going to... I'll make Le Mans bigger. Make Le Mans bigger. What do we need? We've got plenty of food. Could do with maybe happiness. Um, economy is always a good one as well. Um, I'll go with happiness. Because I think we, yeah, we've got a lack of that going on in this part of the world. Um, do I need to keep... How expensive are these? 187. They're not actually that expensive. I will keep these cavalry. And we have... Oh my gosh. We have a lot of... Stuff we could use for auxiliary British spearmen. Mm, no, not really. Um, light cavalry were very good. Auxiliary British archers. I think I'd just rather get... 
um, light archers or crossbows, to be honest. Um, great axes were very good. I think I'll get some more of them, certainly. And maybe some light archers, just because they were okay. Um, we're on good terms now with Burgundy and with the Holy Roman Empire, even though they are at war with Burgundy. So, oh, Friesland's uh, a faction. Let, we could try and become friendly with them. Get a trade agreement, moderate. No, could I offer you 300 pounds or 300 florins, should I say? Because we are French. We don't play a uh, pay in, uh, in pounds. Okay, well, I think Friesland's possible in getting a trade deal because I'd like that. They're, they're uh, not really in my area of influence I'd like to have. I'd certainly like Bruges and I'd certainly like uh, Troyes and Dijon eventually. Dijon has gold. Ooh. Yes, I'd certainly like them at some point. Um, Leon also. That is clearly French. So we will have to have a war with the Empire soon. And I'd like to influence Italy. So we could go for Milan. But first we have to go south and take Clermont, Bordeaux. Bordeaux um, um, well, Marseille is down here. And there is... Oh, Narbonne. That's the other one. There we go. So I'll end the turn. And we will see what happens. Oh, we have an edict we can do. Of course. We've just taken all of Gaul... Gaulio, which is actually should be just called France, really. Um, we could do emancipation project, which does help with replenishment, but it reduces morale and corruption and public order. To be honest, I just want some bread and games. Growth per turn or tax harvesting. Minus 10 pop. Why is this so high then? Conquest. Only next turn, minus 25. Then characters. Minus 20. That's probably because they're in the actual region at the moment, which will be ending soon. Um, I'm okay for food. Tax is always good, I guess. We'll do tax harvesting. Uh, and we'll end the turn. Between friends, the gift of <sighs> Some nice orange juice to keep me going. Keep this connection. illness away. And no, Aquitaine, I will not have that because when we're about to go to war. One of us. Either you or... It's either you or Toulouse next. I'm thinking Toulouse because Clermont's nice and open. But it will be a few turns because we've got to do a bit of replenishment. Troops recruited. Some archers. Not exciting. And then tax harvesting. That was very exciting. Thank you. What have we got here? Um, yeah, we'll upgrade them. Give them a little bit more help. Oh, minus 21 still, right. Is it you causing it? Well, no, my, that actually does help it. Um, but it's you're not actually the problem. Um, let's put a another gathering place in, just to make Gaul extra happy. Let's send you into Poitiers for now. Excellent. So we've got even more replenishment going on here. So there's going to be plenty of that done in no time. Though we can't recruit anything in Poitiers. What even is the point of having this region? Uh, Louis definitely could do with having a few more turns. Um, six turns till fully replenished. Okay, I don't know if I can really wait around six turns. Mercenary light horse. These mercenary swords are very, very good. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, they're very, very cheap. Oh, no, they are going up now in price. Because they're getting replenished. Well, we can afford it at this point, but I don't really want to have to buy more just for the sake of it. So we'll keep you here for this turn. Um... You do some sabotage, try and level yourself up. And we'll see what we can do. No, nope, you did absolutely nothing. Because you're useless. Useless, they say. Right, so, we could do some Benedictine order. And try and move this more in the direction. Because it's still Germanic. And that's not on. Um, or we could do Catholic school. Uh... I'm going to build a light infantry camp, definitely. What is that going to minus? Food and expansionism and tax rate. Okay. That brings down food. Uh, not really much else I can do, actually. So we're going to just end the turn again. We're going to have a lot of money. Ah, damn it. I should have done Friesland. I should have bribed Friesland for a good trade deal. Ah, well. We'll uh, try and get one in the next... Hopefully, Friesland might come to us. No, they didn't. They just ignored us. And I imagine someone's going to be trying to offer us trade again. No. Wow. Ah, oh, and Aquitaine and Toulouse made peace. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, Straf... Oh. 
who made who? Did Toulouse just make? Yeah. Okay, interesting. So we could have a big war about to happen. Okay. Um, anyway, let's do Friesen first before I forget. Treat. Treat. Trade, please. And I'll offer you... A thousand... A thousand pounds. Yeah. There we go. I've got nothing better to spend the money on. Apparently... There we go. That's made the economy a little better, I think. I can't remember. Was it better or was it worse? Before. War declared. Friesen... And oh dear. Friesen might not be lo living long. Oh well. It was nice knowing you Friesen. Um, if I take you out... Oh, that actually also improves it. Well, we'll do that then. Minus six. And it's getting better with instability. And you're only hating it because of all these fish ports. The fish are lovely. Um, we'll put a Catholic school in because you've got to love Catholicism. It's France. We're not having a, You're not allowed to love anything else. Um, these light cavalry were very good and we could do with more cavalry in this army anyway. Um, crossbows... Maybe I uh, still could do with more. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive for long axes. Then again, everything's just generally quite expensive, apart from light spearmen, and it shows they are pretty awful. Um, cavalry are pretty good though. I'll get two cavalry. Um, and I'll get some cheap ass spears. Can we get anything else? Oh yeah, we could get more cavalry. I'd rather not, to be honest. I'll get another light, couple of light spears, just for immediate. And that will be nearly a full stack army. What else can we recruit in the way of... We can rec Mercenary warriors, they actually might be okay. How much do they cost? 1,000. Oh, okay, we can't. No, just go with that. That's fine. Um, and end the turn again. We're going to just fly through a few of these turns. Just so we can get the uh, replenishment up. And money in and I don't know what else we really need money money and men what else do you need in a total war game maybe happiness as well but we got that research done and our protections expiring um, okay let's look at yeah we should actually probably look at the politics risk zero percent we have total domination uh, we could secure their loyalty but we cannot afford it we don't need to because they love us anyway they're submersive and they're a xenophile which and that's two green and one yellow which clearly is a good sign yeah excellent that's brilliant we are we're in we're doing okay our money is going down ever so slightly um so we probably should we should, we probably should do some stuff in the economy and philosophy at some point um so i will do and maybe mil i would like to do military as well though because i'd like to get what is military barracks gonna get us Okay, auxiliary camp, which gets us riders with spears and crossbowmen, which I've already got crossbowmen, so I don't know. Really, I guess riders with spears very handy, and then you, uh, enables long axes, armored axes, which seem very handy. Upkeep is actually so. Why is the upkeep all of a sudden two hundred and three? I guess because of some of my buffs I've got or debuffs I should say and um, heavy crossbows and then here we can recruit Frankish chosen swords heavy spearmen Frankish heavy cavalry okay so I think I would like to go for that at some point quite soon seven turns though I think I'm going to go down there and get the tax land management sounds like a good idea sounds responsible um, okay and then we could recruit more stuff or, ooh, mercenary warriors, fairly handy. I will not lie, I would like a few of those, possibly in this army. Minus four, okay, so it's okay. Um, minus one in food. Exercises, please. Seven turns for exercises? Why is it taking, what's so special about it to me? It's just pretty basic, it's gonna take seven turns to make. Fine, seven turns it is. This just seems a bit long. Um, that's gonna. I'm probably gonna conquer most of France by the time that's done. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll force march these guys down to. I guess I'll put them to Le Mans. No, because that'll just bring the happiness down. Because someone must be cruel or something like that and just be debuffing it. Uh, we'll spend more money on Clermont and try and level up the spy. 
A successful sabotage despite gave me information about the enemy lands and military fairs. Excellent. Very nice. So we now know everything about these people. And about the garrisons. Uh, Twelve is not bad, actually. Militia, light spears. Armoured archers, though. They might be okay. Might be an idea to strike Bordeaux soon. Golden skulls, though. Sixteen. But a weak garrison. I could just siege them out with this army. Which is only going to take one more turn. And I could have hired them. And we would have been okay. But I could hire them next turn on the march. Yeah, I'll do that. This army is destined now for Bordeaux. This army, the king's army. Which isn't actually the king's army. This is the king. No, I was right. No, Louis is not the king. Who is our king? Philip, of course, Philip. And Philip is our heir. And he's eight. Okay, right. So we're going to go with the king's army, which is actually the smaller army. Um, down to Clermont, and then we're also going to go with the army here at Paris to Bordeaux. Okay, so well, we need to build up the King's army, because the King's army can't be that small. We can't have it. That's not on. That's a bit offensive to the King. Ooh, do we have a level 3? A medium city. A large city which will take 18 turns to build. I guess that's fair enough. Unlocked recruitment of heavy cavalry with spears and heavy spearmen. Okay. And the... Oh, you have leveled up. And our money's still going down. But we are doing a lot of expanding in uh, expanding, a lot of recruitment in the army, I guess. Um, I don't know. What do I want? Uh, we'll do replenishment for the parent army. End the turn, and we will see what happens. Will anyone offer me a trade agreement? Thank you. No one did anything. Perfect. Oh, we still built. What are we building? Oh, I don't care about you. On the move. It's light spearmen. Who cares about light spearmen? Um, so this army was going to Bordeaux. and was going to siege down there. Oh, but they're recruiting a lot now. A second army as well. Maybe it's best just... I might strike Clermont and then dry, drag out the army. Change of plan. Change of plan. One more turn. And we're in. So I could have actually recruited those guys. Oh well. Um, 312. I guess it's probably got something to do with being winter. Money's low anyway. Ah, we'll, we'll save it on the money then. Uh, why is it minus 10? Is it just because of the season? Building squalor. Well, minus 4. So we're going to get it to minus 6 again. Um, we could do with some of these things being built. Like the 7 turn thing. A gathering place. Seven turns. I'm still just can't get over that. Seven turns. Ridiculous. Okay. Can we build anything in Poitiers? We could build another one of these. Minus four. It doesn't actually help. Helps with the money though, so we'll do that. It doesn't help with uh, happiness, which I thought a church would help with, but no. Um, anywhere else like. Uh, how are you surviving the war? Just about. Um, just about surviving, it seems. Hungary. Like us enough for trade. No, because there's no trade available. You like us, even though we're basically allied with all of your enemies. Um, Leon, you probably won't do trade. No. Um, Aragon, will you do trade? No, do I know anyone else in the world? No, not yet. But slowly, we will in time with conquests. Right, I will let, spend some more money and try to level you up again. With, right, 50% chance of success, or 54. Yes, and we've gained intelligence. So now, you're nearly level 3. I should just put you in an army, it'd be actually better. Saves money as well. Oh well. There's so many factions, it's going to take forever to, to get like... Well, not forever, but... It takes a long time to get through the turn still. I say that. Oh, I hit an agent's exposed. Well, it's time for war anyway. And it brings in the Duchy of Aquitaine, but who cares? The other army can garrison Poitiers. 
And we conquer this with ease. 75% okay. A winter excursion. No one expects it. And it probably isn't the idea that you're supposed to do in a campaign. The idea probably is to keep to like... Oh, who's this? Oh, Provence is trying something. I could attack them actually. With this. Uh, <laughs> just with that. We'll see what happens. Uh, army sabotage. Mm, no, it's not really worth it. I'm going to just keep spying on Toulouse. See what they've got. So, Clermont has absolutely nothing of really of relevance. Um, could build. I've already got one Catholic Parsons. I don't really want another. I guess I'll build another gathering place. Oh, who's this? Toulouse has an army. The se second, the brave campaigners. I guess it's supposed to be like... I'm not really sure. I'm confused. Oh, Toulouse has a big garrison though. 20. Uh, we'll have to deal with that. And it seems like it's actually good because militia must be like... the slightly better version. Better crappy uh, units. I don't know. But anyway, you keep moving. And keep... Uh, Replenishing on the way. Tw t Twelve turns, I was about to say. Two turns, sorry. Huh. Can't even do English. Okay, we've got a lot of money now from uh, from income. I could actually br bring in a lot more cavalry. And just have a huge cavalry corps in this out. We could, actually. Shall we? Shall we do it? We could afford them. At 600. It brings us down to 3,000 again, which... Uh, I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'll wait. I don't know. I probably could just get a really good cavalry corps from here. Oh, Paris. Let's build the thing that takes seven turns, I guess. Oh, no. We could do a small market, I guess. Yeah, food's not too much of a problem. We'll build a small market, which equally takes seven turns. Seems a bit long, but for like a tier two thing. But I'm, I'm not going to complain. I'll let it. I mean, they is going month by month, not like... It's not going like by a season. We are in February now. It's probably going to be another two turns so we're out of winter, if not more. And we have traditions, which I forget we need to do. So, um, formidable spearmen, possibly. Um, I could, would like to actually enable medium siege engines because we're going to have a lot of sieges on the way, I'm sure. But especially with Bordeaux being a walled settlement. Um, recruitment cost, possibly. Yeah. Um, general. Obviously, we don't want an admiral one. Louis is doing very well as our Ill illegitimate bastard and definitely like in the real world because he's a famed warrior would definitely not start a coup oh well oh here they come here comes Toulouse it's going to try and challenge me in the field with his 12 units what a madman but I respect it uh, okay so they've given up offering money and they just now say they're begging me to uh, to join their war never gonna happen I've now I've turned my eye south, and uh, unhappy populace. Well, that's a shame. And motivated populace. Well, that's fine then. We've got unhappy in Gaul, but a motivated one in Aquitaine. That's what I like to see. And I'm sure if I move this army out, even though I don't really want to, Paris is still not happy. But it's getting there. Um, I'm really not sure. Uh, oh, that is actually minus ten public order course we should change the breaking games because currently they are hating yeah oh, of course yeah we should have done that oh well well we'll have to just boost a load of popularity things in a bit of course my edict's gonna be the reason why they hate hate me so much oh well well we'll make this uh, we'll probably make aquitaine certainly um a tax haven make aquitaine a tax haven that sounds a good idea um i mean i haven't really looked at you what can you do at the moment you don't. Oh, your bonus a bit of public order, but a lot of morale and bread of gains, recruitment costs. Um, I could do that, I guess, but doesn't really benefit me too much. Um, but yeah, sure, why not? Let's build it. I've got the money. I don't really know what else I'm doing with the money. Um. Can I, what can I recruit here? Oh, this is where I can recruit all the cavalry. I can recruit a huge cavalry corps here. And mercenary spears. Quite handy. But no, I'm restraining myself. I don't need them. 
We still haven't actually got a recruitment thing here, so we might want to build a barracks also in Bordeaux, or just not bother, just make Aquitaine a very peaceful realm. I don't really plan to invade Spain. I just want to unite France. Maybe have a small war in Italy. We'll see. We'll see how see how popular the vid uh, this series is because so far it's been very very popular, and I'm thank you for the support on it. And um, that is where I'm going to wrap up the episode before I die of this illness. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, and if you have, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, Legionnaires, 